There is a feature in 3D Studio Max that I really love and it is this uh, icon here called Selection Lock Toggle and what it allows you to do is to select something either a single object or a set of objects and once you have uh, selected them you can uh, press the spacebar and that will lock or, un un or unlock them or you can actually go here to the icon and click on Selection Lock Toggle uh, this is very nice because from this point on if you try to go and select something else it's going to keep you from doing it so if you have a selection set that you want to be performing operations on and you don't want to accidentally uh, move it this is a great way to do it so for example if you wanted to move this you can now go and they move as a group and there are times when if you're trying to do the same thing without the selection lock it's easy to pick up and move something else in the process or uh, lose the selection set uh, completely. Let me demonstrate by making an error where uh, we will type control Z to go back and then it's very easy to uh, move. Yeah, see, and I went to move something hoping that the previous selection set would remain intact and I ended up picking up a rectangle so let's do control Z that's something that uh, well you have something selected if you lock it it's not gonna happen so if we now go to move we can now move and I'm not going to accidentally pick up something else so this is really handy and I highly recommend it and I love the shortcut it's uh, the spacebar which uh, is very accessible enjoy